first met Miss Lassie around 1992. Um, I was introduced to her by uh, Leslie Bigelman, who was a member of the board of the Cultural Foundation at the time. Um, and from the time I met her, from the time I walked through the gate, that front gate, and, and walked into the house, and saw this sort of cathedral of art, um, you know, that was, that looked childlike, but yet was very, very powerful and moving. Um, I knew that, that, uh, that the Cultural Foundation had to do something about preserving these works and keeping them safe for the future uh, generations of Caymanians. Oh, yes, and I said, this, as I can recall, because the road was very narrow. Two cars couldn't, well, it wasn't many cars to pass, it was just a track, and they, they had a, a conch shell wall right, right to the end of the road. Right, right. And also, they, they planted these, what we call these crotons. Yes. Some is pink and some is white. I, 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 I got I got some yellow yellow ones up around my place there, uh -huh. but the, that was all and the all but and sun, that was sun. every Saturday. Uh -huh. This was swept clean. It had to be perfect for Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Lassa and her, her sister lived here. She had another, but she died in uh, I don't remember what year. Clarabel. She died. Many years ago, sometime in the 60s at least, and uh, she had a hard life, but she was, she was an industrial uh, lass, you know, and she was hard working, and uh, well, you know how the story of how she started painting and yeah, all kinds yeah. of things. And, so would she ever come out here in the day, like and sit down? Oh, they, they, it, 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 it used to be a lot of grape trees and the leaves. Oh, she, they kept this, this place to speak and span. Yes. The, yeah, even the, just before she died, she didn't. It was against a lot to do a little burning, but she yeah. used to, oh, yeah. she used to oh, rake up or she used, used to be, yeah. heap up. Well, that was the old time in Cayman. Mm. We didn't use any huge fires, right, right. just a, a, little, bit a little bit, and so they did con control it, it didn't get away. She passed away in 2003, <coughs> at the age of 89, <laughs> and this house was willed to her son. The property was willed to her son, Richard, who was also passed away now. He passed away about two years after her. And she, then Ivan came. And just a couple of days after Ivan, maybe about a week after, I came to see the property because I lived just up the road. And the property, the small house was perfectly fine. That one little leak. This house had some damage and the sea had come in, water splashed inside this house. And there were lots of paintings that I think she had transferred, uh, Richard might have transferred them over to this house. And they were kind of scattered around the floor and on the chairs and so on. And they had a lot of um, sand, sand and water damage. They were washed, they were rubbed by the sand and so on. And I collected them. And even though they were quite damaged, some of them, we, I thought that they were important to have them. <coughs> so again, I proposed to the board that we buy, I think there was about 23 of them. 23 or 24, I don't remember the exact number now. In any case, we paid him around 13,000 plus Cayman Islands dollars for the, for the 20 something paintings, which worked out very well. And, um, and then immediately we got somebody, a Canadian lady who was here, she, who, worked with the, who worked with the museum, um, and she's a conservator. And we asked her to look at these works and she did some minor repairs and so on, and general cleaning of the works. So at least they were stabilized to a point. Um, some of those works still need a lot of work on them, but we just have not had the money to do these things. They cost quite a lot to pay an expert. So anyway, so by, at this time we now had 124 pieces, approximately, right? Um, of Miss Lassie's paintings. And that's what we, the country now, we, we hold the, the collection in trust for the people of the Cayman Islands. 